In this video, we're going to be talking about windage trays and how to set up your oil pickup tube to oil pan clearance. This windage tray is a three valve windage tray. Uh, it's on a Texid short block right now. Uh, it'll work with a Texid short block. You just need to either get the three valve uh, ARP studs that have a longer stud so you can attach in uh, these eight places here. Um, or you can get the four valve from the 96 uh, 96 to 01 Cobra that came with a half windage tray. It basically had four, uh, four longer studs. And what people do is they'll rotate or they'll alternate uh, this stud, this stud, this stud, and this stud. Uh, and that is what they use to attach it. I've never used uh, the that stud kit. I've always used the three valve stud kit, uh, but it, it seems like it would work. That seems like quite a bit of a uh, uh, fasteners holding the windage tray on there. This is a three valve pickup tube. It doesn't have the, the crank scraper on there. Um, and that's, this is a boundary, uh, pump with uh, billet gears inside there. So what the windage tray does is it, it blocks the windage that is created from the reciprocating assembly inside the short block. As it rotates around, uh, it actually creates wind and that wind can become aerated with the oil and it actually creates friction on the rotating assembly and can rob horsepower so what the windage trays do and the windage trays were factory full-length windage tray on three valves uh the 5.4s and the gt500s and the coyote 5.0s uh, so the windage trays are very common in uh, today's engines what you want to do once you get it on there, you want to check and make sure that your crank clears it. So you'll bolt it down. Uh, you don't have to torque it down all the way. Just snug it down and then rotate it. Rotate your crank around and just make sure nothing is contacting and check to if you want to make sure you have at least 60 thousandths clearance. This is the Moroso fabricated, fully fabricated oil pan for 4.6s and 5.4s. There's the part number. But this is a great oil pan. It's got thick flanges on the top, bolting it down. Drain provision, drain provisions. It's got for temperature. And on the front of it, it also has for a supercharger drain back. This already has the Felpro gasket. And the Felpro oil pan gasket comes with an O-ring for the oil pickup tube and the oil pump. Don't forget that. Okay, so now that we've gone over a little bit of the parts uh, that we've got on this engine block, the two items you need to check clearance are a little bit of Play-Doh and a Dial indicator. Roll the Play-Doh up into a little ball. You're going to put it down on the pickup tube. Try not to get it to where it's going to go inside and get on the screen. And then you put your oil pan down on the block. With the gasket, make sure you got your gasket on there. Put a little bit of downforce. And now you're going to measure the thickness of your Play-Doh. Take your dial caliper. Most of them will have a depth gauge at the back. And as you open it up, a small portion protrudes out and it tells you how much it protrudes out. So that's what I use to, to push through the Play-Doh to get a good reading. So we are at about 300 thousandths or a third of an inch. The ideal, uh, the ideal space that you would want to see is a quarter of an inch to three, 
three eighths of an inch or 0 0.250 to 0 0.400 roughly. I'll go up to 0 0.400. This is a little tight for me. I don't I don't like it at 0.3. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to take a washer off from the hex spacer and that'll lower the hex spacer and lower the intake tube down about 50 thousandths and it'll put us about 350 thousandths clearance hopefully which is where I'd like this to be. There's our one washer. So the problem we're having now is the stud protrudes through the hex washer so far that the screw is bottoming out. So I'm going to take that washer that we took from underneath the hex and I'm going to put it on top of the, this screw so it creates more space. I got two washers on the top. And now we take our Play Doh again and ball it back up. Take our measurement again. So now we're at about 0.356 of an inch, which is right where I like it. And now you can go through and torque everything down, make sure you clean any residue off, make sure you didn't get any Play-Doh inside your oil pickup on the screen or anything like that. We want to make sure everything's torqued. These are torqued to about 90 inch pounds. The small uh, oil pickup tubes in the front, uh, don't quote me on that, but it's about 90 inch pounds. And this back one is, is uh, 20 foot pounds. So they're not super tight in there, uh, but it's not a bad idea to put some Loctite on there as well, just to make sure that nothing backs out. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about what I've gone over and in the comments below and make sure and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more videos.